It is Shortwaves with Jaguar Shoes Collective. My name's George Godfrey, and today I'm very excited to say I'm talking to Ryan and Jordan from Bedroom. How are you doing, guys? Hello, Hello mate. How are you two doing? How's this um, this ridiculous year been for you guys? Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got used to it now, but yeah, the first few months have been a bit pretty like up and down, really. But. We're on an up now. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> well, I was I was going to say like it, it's definitely got sort of sprinklings of positives in because you guys you finally released your debut album Bedroom, which I love. It reminds me of bands like My Bloody Valentine and Slow Dive. And I did want to start talking about the music. Who were the bands that you both loved when you were starting out? Like when Bedroom started, I, it was like like a band called Washed Out who really influenced like what I wanted to do. Because when it was starting out, it was like meant to be like kind of like electronic meets like shoegaze, I guess, like that kind of guitar-y sound. And then it just kind of developed into like delving into like, but yeah, like you say, bands like Slow Dive and having like Radiohead pushed into you from a primary school age, which is <laughs> a dangerous thing to do to a child. Um, I is think- that the, Is that the parent's was, influence? I think it was an escape from the parents, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, that's sad as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just got this image of you, like, six years old, just, like, coming back from primary school and going listening to, like, exit music from a film. But honestly, I, I would not be surprised if I walked to school listening to that and just being like, just some toast, sorry I'm busy. Existential <laughs> <laughs> primary school mornings. Yeah. <laughs> I think Deer Hunter are a massive influence on us all now. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, in the production sense, like, there's a lot of times when we were in the studio recording and we were just, like, listening to different songs of Deer Hunter or one of those bands that came on quite a lot. And I think it's just, like, um, sort of a little bit into the experimentation, but, like, all the instruments and stuff aren't necessarily, well, aren't necessarily, I was going to say complex, but that's sort of mm. like but like <laughs> together, like the band sort of makes up a great sound. I think that's what yeah. we're trying to do, rather than and playing right for all the line like. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> <laughs> before Bedroom then, had you both played in other bands before this? Was it sort of like a journey to get to where you're at now? No, well, no. I, I've played in bands before, but we, need, we never had the pleasure. <laughs> I'm like miles younger than everyone else, so mm. I, it was like my first band. Like I was at college when I got asked to do it. Have you got any um, sort of like horror stories of those early gigs? It's weird because like when we were starting out, like everything just kind of kept getting better as it was. Like there was never really any like. Terrible moments. I can tell you a really funny story about John shitting himself, though. Oh, please do. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> there we go. Now we're it's a good it. sound bite, to be fair. Sorry, the interview's <laughs> going to take half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were just doing our first tour, and we went to Spoons, <laughs> and uh, John had a bit of a weird one. And it was. Uh, I think it was just the emodium that disagreed with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was your trousers that disagreed with you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so basically he shits himself in Manchester. <laughs> well, I think, like, for want of a better phrase, I suppose that is rock bottom, so it can only go up. <laughs> you guys are from Hull, and there's some great bands coming out of there, like Life and, and Hubbards, and I did want to ask, what's the scene like there for you guys and when you were sort of developing as a band? It was nice, man. Like, there's been a lot of shows where we managed to like play with bands that we've been watching over the years like um we played a christmas show with love at blooms through an album which was really nice it definitely felt like we were working together within the scene it's kind of a tough time for music and obviously there's been so many venues across the uk but particularly in hull struggling like we saw polar bear closing and welly although am i right in saying welly's now been saved yeah yeah, yeah. And I mean, they're, they're both places that I've loved when I've, I've been up and visited. Are they, are they the kind of venues where you cut your teeth on those early shows? Yeah, well, Pearl About was always like, because there's like this uh, weekly 
night where they put like bands on uh, called the Sesh every Tuesday, which is which found its. Uh, it used to be at a place called Linton Larkin Hall and then moved to Polar Bear. Um, and so there for like anyone who is in Hull or even like touring and like wants to like even like get like an experience of playing live or even start out, that's where you'd go. So right. to lose that is a is a shame. Now I've caught up with a few bands and artists over the past few months who you know, had a weird experience of releasing music in this time. But you guys are one of the first I've spoken to who managed to play a show since the pandemic. How was that? How did it feel to sort of get back and, and playing as a full band? It was really strange, man. Well, uh, I think especially when we first started, I was like, oh, Jesus, like, we're gonna have to, like, navigate this sort of time, weirdly, because the, you don't have the sort of, like, crowd to feed off or anything like that. And it's sort of all quite still quite introspective, which was nice, and it's a nice new way of doing things, but I still obviously prepare being in the room with like people and yeah, of course. That going forward. But it was really nice to like be able to finally play the music that we hadn't been able to play on the like our show before. Yeah, because this was the first show since the album, right? Yeah man, yeah. Yeah man. Which is weird. Yeah, it's so strange that like, you know, you want to get out there and get on the road and and play those songs to really promote the album and, and the best you can really do, I guess, is a live stream from a venue. Yeah, literally. I mean, you've just got to do what you can do, I guess, like, because as soon as you stop, mm. like, well, get trying or whatever, then what's the point in even doing it? Like, just because we're in a pandemic, this is, we have to stop doing what, what, well, this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I think that's the right attitude to have, man, definitely. Now, I'm down here in London. I'm doing this video for Jaguar Shoes. They've got their venue, the Victoria. And that's a place that you played in the past, right? So you did a night with our mates Egyptian Elbows and Scared to Dance. What are your memories of that venue? Uh, I mean, to be fair, that was the last show that we played was at the Victoria. Before. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like, to be fair, it was like such a good gig to go out on. I think it was like sold out, to be fair, by the end of it. And like, we didn't have a clue like so we were just like all like oh yeah we're just gonna play the show in london and then it just ended up being like this absolute howler and it was just like for like to go out in such a horrible way to play but like to that's your last show kind of having the victoria as it it's like oh it's, that's just the fondest memory we've got of it yeah, yeah. definitely our drummer luke says it's his favorite show that we've ever played just, oh really it was just unbelievable yeah, we, yeah we, we've kept... always loved playing at the victoria to be fair but yeah that time in January was just insane. It was so fun. I think it was like the fact, like when you go into something and just like, you've got like the wide-eyed, like optimism of something, then it actually like comes off. Like you couldn't have believe it. It just was, I think that's like kind of adds to the optimism that we've got going forward. It was just like, oh, so we've ended on this. It's mm -hmm. got to give us the push to carry on and keep doing that when it's over. You guys have really been picking up some great momentum. Like, I've been hearing you more on the radio and I've been seeing your name more often in press. And I guess 2020 has kind of put the brakes on that for a lot of bands. Do you have a plan in place for what you can do going forwards? Obviously, you can only sort of judge what's what's allowed to happen. Yeah, I mean, we've got, um, well, we just um, rescheduled our tour for 2021. We're just like planning uh, as we would. Yeah, well, all been well. We're meant to be, we're kind of meant to be going everywhere. Yeah. Um, so just like to keep, for us to have that optimistic planning keeps us kind of going. Yeah, we've got, we've got quite a bit planned for 2021 and 2022. We've just been like completely getting it all the, everything sorted for that. Nice planning, just, planning far ahead. Yeah, literally. And we will, yeah, no, we, we want to do this. Remember, so yeah, uh, beat around the bush. <laughs> That's well, we'll put the uh, the link up for the 2021 shows. But you said there for 22. Does that mean that you guys are already working on new music? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've been yeah. I've been like through like writing quite a bit, and I know Jordan has. We've been back and we've been uh, practicing a bit, and we just we've wrote some new bits. So it's kind of like we've just released this album, and then we're going to start touring album too. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna, it's going to be really weird, but. I suppose that's like the kind of interesting element for it. Like, it's just so bizarre to be doing something now. I guess you just got to run with it. Hey, you, you can you can do like a bumper tour where you play for like two hours. It's fine. The, the first <laughs> will be there. 
You've got to bring the cat on now. You've got to bring the cat on. Look at this. Cat ward. I mean, honestly, it's been a nightmare. Cat Well, I'll let you guys go in a sec, but we're going to do uh, do the Jagger Shoes pin-up. So we've been doing these quick-fire questions to round off the interviews. Don't think too much about your answers. Just sort of go for the first thing that comes into your head. So, Ryan, we'll start with you. Who was the right. first band that you fell in love with? Um, the Smiths. All right, Jordan, what about you? The last band that you fell in love with? Power Plant. Good call. Ryan. Oh, you guys are better. <laughs> no, the Smiths is still a good, a good. No, 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 no. I should have said <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what's your best festival memory? Primavera, uh, watching Bad, Bad, Not Good. It's the first time I saw him, and it was, it was insane. I just come up off a three-euro pill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan. You're my tour guide here. I've just got off the train. What is the first thing I should go and see in Hull? Oh, mate. Mecca Bingo. Ryan wants to put a hundred pound there and then was so sad because he'd, he'd said that he had to split it with the, whoever won anything had to split it. So he, in his, 20, his hundred pound instantly became 25. But Mecca Bingo is on the bingo. I, I did check ahead with one of my mates from up there and he said it was either that or the Submarium, so... <laughs> yes. Yeah, the deep. Yeah, down to yes. deep. All right, this one's for both of you. For the uninitiated, for those who don't know Bedroom, which song should they start with? Push pull. GCSE bite size. <laughs> You'll have to go digging for that one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, guys, thanks, <laughs> thanks so much for uh, chatting today. That's Ryan and Jordan from Bedroom on Short Waves. Take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day, and hopefully we'll Good. see you soon. See you later, man. Nice Bye. Day. Catch up with more short waves at jaguarshoes.com forward slash radio. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We're at shortwaves radio and Victoria Dalston.